Hey guys, what's up, what's up? This is Omar with Art Team Videos. Today I'm gonna to be making a quick video on my 2015 Dodge Ram Eco Diesel 3.0. We're gonna be working on the glow plug control module. Looks like a relay. I'm gonna show it to you and stuff. I'm just getting outside, getting ready to, to work on it. So <clears throat> uh, let's, uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, you know, please do so. If you like this video, like it, share it, comment. You know, whatever you want to do, I just ask, as I always on my videos, I ask for you to keep it clean. If you want to criticize me, that's fine. Do it. I love it. But just keep it respectful and clean, okay? All right, thank you so much, guys. Well, this is a replacing a glow plug control module on my 2015 Dodge Ram Eco Diesel. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for sticking around. Let me walk into my truck. I'm going to get the uh, little uh, code reader that I have in here. Sorry if I got closed captions. <laughs> so I got my got my little code reader. This one works pretty good. So what it is, is it, and I wanted to do it from, from scratch so that you guys know what, what I'm talking about. <clears throat> and what it is what it is is this right here is being blinking and i got the service engine light on so um i don't know what's going on <clears throat> when you drive it it shows you know that right there so it's supposed to be something about the um, heat something i will look it up and i will put it on the video so now i'm gonna go ahead and plug this in uh right here okay so this thing is is on I'm gonna show you that it's connected to my truck so that way nobody see thinks it's you know a little you know made up video or whatever so it's reading the codes communicating blah 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 thank you so much guys for watching this video so they got one code so let's uh read the codes so there you have it there's a p052f glow plug control module so that's what it is all right so let's turn it off get the keys out and plug it right here now we're going into the engine and see if we can find it so and i'm also going to do another video because i made a video about replacing the um, mass flow sensor i think it's called that is way back there and the video that i had it <laughs> Man, I had my the music so loud, I didn't even realize. Because um, I was editing on the go, and I didn't realize the, the, the volume of the music was so loud. And I'm getting a lot of comments on that video. And, Man, I cannot hear you at all because of music, blah, blah, blah. Well, I apologize, guys. I really apologize. Hey, I'm a new, I'm a new guy on a new, on a new tech world. <laughs> so, that, that just uh, and uh, <clears throat> but I'm gonna try to do it again I'm gonna, since I'm gonna be you know having all this stuff open. I'm gonna I'm gonna have all this pretty much the process is almost the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this video, this clips for do both of the videos. Okay, so uh, the first video that I'm gonna do is like I said the glow plug control module. I'm gonna replace. I'm gonna try to find it, locate it, but also for the other. Uh, for the other video that I'm gonna do about the mass sensor, I believe it's called, that is way back there, I'm gonna do it as well. So the process is pretty much the same, all right? So let me show you. All right, guys, well, let me see if I can do this by myself. Get a little step ladder. It's too tall, <laughs> and 
this guy right here, all you do is you just, it just snaps on. It's an easy removal. In the back, it has this little clips right here. And this one right here. And then it actually just goes in this area right here. I don't know if you can see me clear or not. So we're gonna we remove that. Then we're gonna remove this too, okay? The intake. So let's remove the uh, airflow sensor right here. I think that's what it's called. All right, and uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna take this off, okay? So let me get my tools and work on that. All right, guys. So I was saying uh, to remove the cover. Is basically you you hold it right here and right here then you just kind of like snap it like this and then you just push on it and it snaps right here on this little ball thing and there's another one right over here okay and that's how you snaps on it so all right now I'm gonna go ahead and get to uh, remove the other the air intake and we go from there but so far so good working over here I understand some of these guys that make those videos that they're like oh man it's just so hard to work by yourself and it's true man it, it is hard to do things trying to get the video and then do things by yourself and stuff so this guy right here is a 516 this this is screwdriver right here okay I got it at Home Depot for two dollars and two something. So this guy right here has, you know, the Philip and the flat, the PS2, okay, and then it also has the PS1 on this side, okay. So this one is a quarter inch, and this one is a five sixteen. So for this one, I like to use a five sixteen. So I take that off. So I'm taking this off, okay? So I'm gonna let's see if I can take this off right here. I don't think I'm gonna take the whole air filter box. Honestly, um, I just really don't think I need to take it off. But I do need to take this guy out of here so I can see more inside. Um, let me see. Yeah, why not? I'm going to take this off too. The last time I don't remember taking this. I don't remember taking this one off. But I'm going to go ahead and do it. No, I don't remember taking this one off. So... I do remember taking this one off. Okay, so I'll take that one off. And then, where? Uh -huh. Oh, here it is. Here's the thing. So, I'm gonna get my phone and I'm gonna show you where is the sensor, okay? So as we're coming over here, all right, the sensors of the other video that I did is right here. See, that right there, that right there. It's got the, uh, I think it's a T, T, oh man, T12 or T20. I can't remember the tool that I used for this, but it just got this, that screw right there. Okay, you take that screw, and then you undo it from this plug, you remove that one, and then you come on and clean it, or replace it, put it back, and that's it. So this is how you work on that sensor over there. From the previous video that I did, that my music was way too loud. So that's, that's how you do it. 
you know, I know if, I don't know if this video has been helpful for you um, on that sensor back there. Like I said, I don't remember very well, but I'm gonna look through the other video before I, I post this video. I'm gonna edit it and I'm gonna go back to the other video and put the code that it gave me and also the name of that sensor back there, okay? Like I said, I am not a mechanic. I am not, you know, knowledgeable about all this stuff. I just, you know, work on my vehicles as much as I can to replace, you know, little things here, little things there. So, I'm not a, I don't consider myself being a, a mechanic, knowledgeable mechanic, where I can answer a bunch of questions and stuff. No, not at all, not at all. You know, I'm just another guy, you know, trying to save some money while doing some of this stuff by myself, okay? So <clears throat> there it goes, that's the video. And like I said, I'm gonna edit it and see, even if I have the parts of the other video, you know, from my Google videos, from my memory, uh, you know, I can add on this and that. But if not, well guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much um, for watching. <clears throat> like I said, it's very easy process to replace that sensor back there, the one that I show you. I'm just removing this, the cover this little uh fire shield that's what i call it and um you don't have to remove the box you don't have to remove this at all you know you just get to this point not even this one you have to take it off because it's like i said it's just right right here you know as you go in it's right there that's the guy that i replaced the you know on the one video that i have my music too loud so, alrighty guys, well thank you so much. I'm gonna end right here. Like I said, if I have other sources or other videos that I can add to this, I will. And if not, thank you so much. I appreciate your patience. I appreciate your understanding and mostly your support uh, to this channel. Love you guys, God bless you.